Well, I'm Jared Harris, and I uh, made this all metal cello. It's completely sheet metal, all the way from the headstock down to the body and neck. Everything, the fingerboard and uh, the faces, this is all sheet metal. And then the only parts that aren't metal is the 3D printed parts, which is the bridge and the pieces down here for the end pen. Uh, so pretty much everything here is also designed by myself. This is a completely different approach than the Stradivarius style. Uh, yes, there are some things that make it inherently uh, playable, such as the cello and so it doesn't stand out too much, but the features here that run down the like the curve of the body, those follow a different mathematical curve and then also the relationship of where these are in comparison to the rest of the body uh, follow different uh, ratios and stuff. The other thing is that the internal structure is made because it's metal there's certain features there because of the fact that it's made of metal other than what you would find in like a Stradivarius style cello or another wood instrument that has to be there because it's wood either structurally or for some sonic reasons that make it sound a certain way. So I took that all into account and I probably put about 70 to 80 hours into this and yeah it's all it's all done by myself and I uh, hope you enjoy. I'm going to do some direct comparisons of my normal cello and then my uh, my metal one I have here. I'm going to try to keep the mic settings exactly the same and then yeah we'll just go back and forth. So. Sustain is this, and this is just out of this world. Um, it's like it brings its own acoustics. So this is all like a carpeted room, and then uh, it's just finished all the way around. And it usually sucks up all the sound, but you can you can hear the sustain for ages. take a comparison to the wood one. Now the main difference between the main difference between the two is uh, this is running Diodario uh, Pro Artes which are a purlon core. They are kind of like nylon strings on an acoustic and I chose those because be with the metal usually having a very harsh kind of sound to it the purlon cores warm it up and also give you that that uh, energy from the string. It, it, it carries a higher energy because of the the density of the body and then the density of the strings being a thicker gauge. You have to have a string that can um, transmit that much energy into the body. So then here I'm going to go to the wood one. It's running Helicore uh, Diodario strings. Uh, they're pretty, pretty balanced for what it is but also it's a borderline a student level cello. Um, I got it back in 2006 and so it's not really a special cello in itself but it is the only comparison I got to show you guys. And it just feels like it feels like a toy like the second I picked it up. It's, it's hard to explain. It's the weirdest phenomenon. It's going back and forth. If I just went right to this, it'd be perfectly normal. But playing that and playing this, it's, uh, it's like night and day. Um, the other big thing is that this, pun intended, is six percent bigger than this one. So for every, I think this is uh, 28 inches or 26 inches in length. This is 32, uh, something like that. And so if you were to take that, put them right next to it, because the scale length and everything's six percent bigger. Um, and that's just to give it a little more volumetric efficiency for the frequency uh, range. So. Um, a little bit of science there, let's just get into this.
like what you've seen here please support the channel and give me a like and subscribe and if you could share this as well i would really think it'd be really cool if this could go viral by chance so i hope you enjoyed and have a good one